Now, one of the great things about AI is that it can be everywhere. But one of the bad things about it is it can be everywhere and it can be bad if it's not built on a great foundation of data. So I'm going to talk a little bit about data. And to do that, I'm going to actually back up to what the buying journey looks like. Now, if you're a buyer in a sales cycle, you see one journey. You might start on the website. You might end up with a seller. But the reality is we know most buyers are actually bouncing around between the buyer, between the seller and the digital experience. And we know that buyers are doing a lot of research before they get to a seller. But we also know that most buyers think that their experience buying is pretty poor. Actually, less than half actually like the experience of buying or think that it's, it's a positive experience. So that's what's happening with the buyers. But let's talk about the sellers. Life's not great for them either. In the last decade or two, we threw a ton of technology at them. And yes, now they can get more buying signals, but they've had to go from screen to screen to screen to inbox to inbox with an administrative task here and something they have to type in over there. And in fact, Forrester has found that sellers have been able to spend less time with buyers than they used to, down to about 25% of their time, simply because of all this administrative tasks. So this is a world that isn't working for either one. And if you look at that buyer journey and you say, okay, what's actually happening with the buyer? They are going to the website. They're, they're coming into sales. They're bringing new members of the buying team in. All of this is happening. And if we look at it just in the view of what happens between a human and the buyer, we're going to miss the potential of AI. We're going to miss the potential of all these digital experiences. Not to replace the seller because, again, we believe that selling is fundamentally a human endeavor. But to augment the seller, to help the seller, to do those things the seller doesn't need to do, like giving answers in a chat experience. As you heard David mention, this is one of the reasons that we bought Drift, partly because we saw all the signals coming into rhythm from marketing platforms. And first party ones like websites are so powerful to begin the conversation on a buying journey. We thought we wanted to bring that in house so that we could create some really unique workflows. Drift has recently launched Bionic Chatbots which is an AI-powered chat based on a customer's website or any other ingested material that gives free-form AI-assisted answers to buyers. Now, this is great because one of the worst uses of a human being is to be a product catalog or to memorize a website. That's not what you want sellers doing. An AI-based chatbot can do that. But what's really great about this is that when you think about conversational AI, it doesn't just have to live in a chat bot on the website. It can actually be the foundation of great email responses. It can actually help a seller during a live conversation. And that's part of our vision for that conversational AI. There are also workflows that are really powerful when you incorporate buyer intent and you bridge this digital and sales-led sales world. 